The Chinese moon landing. Was it fake? Secure Team 10 gives it away. Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. If you can't tell right now, it is a big day if you're a Seattle Seahawks fan. It's the first round of the wild card playoffs in 2019, and today we're playing the Cowboys. So instead of getting ready for that, I unwisely turned on Secure Team 10's channel on YouTube. What did I see there? Tyler starts talking about the Chinese moon landing. And then, as I began to watch, I went, oh my gosh, it looks like China's faked their own moon landing. So why do I say that? Well, it seems that uh, in order to achieve true superpower status, you have to fake a moon landing. And it appears, thanks to Tyler's uh, report on Secure Team 10, that they may have done just that. But before we talk too much about that, please hit that subscribe button and uh, consider a sponsorship on patreon.com slash hindsight. Okay, so what do we want to look at first? Well, the first thing we want to look at is some of the evidence provided by Tyler on Secure Team 10. Now, let me tell you first of all that I have nothing against the Chinese. In fact, I spoke at the Tiananmen Square Memorial in Seattle when I was running for the United States Senate last summer. So I'm all for the Chinese. Yay, Chinese, Chinese, China, whatever. Okay, so uh, the second thing I want to say is that <clears throat> um, China uh, is in a really precarious position right now. And we have to look back at the uh, original moon landings or faked moon landings or moon landings or whatever you call them uh, when uh, the United States uh, was in a big competition with the uh, Russians. And it wasn't like country against country. It was about ideology. It was about is it, is it freedom or is it totalitarianism, right? And so, uh, what is it, 40, 50 years later, <clears throat> we're still at the same kind of uh, crossroads, but this time there's a new player, and it's China. China with its communist state. Um, they're trying to prove that their technology is superior to American technology, but unfortunately for the Chinese, uh, they are in a battle because all of their technology is American technology that was stolen from us. And so at this point in time, when our president and the Americans are saying, we've had enough of China stealing our ideas, stealing our technology, hacking in and taking everything we have, um, they are trying to tell the world that no, uh, we're good. Uh, and in fact, we're just, uh, we're just technologically proficient and we're so technologically proficient, we can now land on the moon. Okay, so that is the historical backdrop and setting for why China might be motivated to fake a moon landing. But now going back to the evidence, I'm watching Tyler's Secure Team 10 uh, report, and the first thing that caught my eye was Tyler's statement that, oh, look at that, the moon looks so much different in the Chinese uh, landers' pictures than it did in the American landers' pictures or the American astronauts pictures. Well, gee, do you think maybe because that's a different desert, <laughs> like maybe the Americans were in either Stanley Kubrick's film studio or out in Nevada at uh, Area 51, and the Chinese are limited to the Gobi Desert. So uh, that's one thing that really kind of gave it away. Another thing that gave it away was Tyler uh, showed a picture of a land of the lander, the Chinese lander, and it's going off of the of the or the rover. It's going off the lander, and what's it leaving behind? <clears throat> a very discernible, uh, very um, stamped into the ground uh, uh, tracks. Right? 
Now, unfortunately, as somebody pointed out many times on YouTube, with the infamous footprint on the moon, with no moisture, that's that ground, that it's just dust, right? And so uh, it would be more like you taking baby powder and running a Hot Wheel through it. It would be, would you think it would leave um, really uh, discernible tracks or just a general outline? So that's the problem there is once again, we have really identifiable tracks that uh, signify there's moisture wherever this shot is being taken. All right, so uh, the last thing that I, I wanna point out, and it's not really a big deal, but as you see the, the tracks where, where the, that lander goes, or the rover goes off the lander, there's no crater there. Uh, again, uh, I assume there was no parachute landing uh, because there's no atmosphere. So they would have had to use jet propulsion. And again, there, <clears throat> there's no, um, there would have been something that the, the rover would have at least had to climb out of at least a, a little bit of a bunch of dust that had been um, dislocated. So once again, uh, I, I think that uh, the Chinese have faked their, uh, have faked their mission and um, it was actually shot out in the Gobi Desert. Now, uh, hopefully uh, we um, are, are all saying, oh, you know, like uh, they're saying, uh, Tyler was saying this, we're gonna find our, that alien life that NASA has been covering up. Well, unless it's some dropa stones found in some Chinese caves, um, I don't think you're gonna find anything uh, that has to do with alien life on the moon um, until you actually go to the moon. So the last thing that I wanna say to support my theory is that the Chinese supposedly landed on the far side of the moon. So we can't even verify with our telescopes where is the Chinese ro rover at, right? Um, so it's all very hokey and uh, I just would like to congratulate the Chinese if they have uh, landed on the moon. And if you haven't, please don't hunt me down and kill me with one of your Chinese secret agents. All right then, um, I guess that's it for my report. I'm gonna go watch the Seahawks beat the Dallas Cowboys, and I hope you all have a super weekend. Please hit the subscribe button. And this is Deceptions of the Ages News, and we, We'll see you later.